3 subscribe our channel and click the bell icon so that you will get update with our latest video. A man who has been arrested in Sydney for allegedly acting as an economic agent for North Korea, Australian Federal Police AFP, have said, Chan Han Choi, 59, has been charged with brokering illegal exports from the country and discussing the supply of weapons of mass destruction. Police allege he has broken both UN and Australian sanctions. The case against Mr. Chen, who has lived in Australia for more than 30 years, is the first of its kind in the country. It is the first time anyone has been charged under the country's 1995 Weapons of Mass Destruction, Prevention of Proliferation, Act. Police say there was evidence that Mr. Chan had been in contact with high-ranking officials in North Korea. North Korea crisis in 300 words. 9 charts that tell you all you need to know about North Korea. They allege he had brokered services related to North Korea's weapons program, including the sale of specialist services including ballistic missile technology to foreign entities, in order to generate income for the North Korean regime. Mr. Chen also was charged with brokering the sale of coal from North Korea to groups in Indonesia and Vietnam. He is facing six charges in total after being arrested at his home on Saturday night. In a Sunday news conference, police confirmed the man was a naturalized Australian citizen of Korean origin who had been in the country for over 30 years. They described him as a loyal agent who believed he was acting to serve some higher patriotic purpose. But police insisted the man's actions did not pose any direct risk to Australians with the actions occurring offshore. I know these charges sound alarming. Let me be clear we are not suggesting there are any weapons or missile component that ever came to Australian soil, AFP Assistant Commissioner Neil Gore and said. Any individual who attempts to fly in the face of sanctions cannot and will not go unnoticed in Australia. Mr. Chan could face up to 10 years in prison and has been denied bail. In October the Australian government said they had received a letter from North Korea urging Canberra to distance itself from the Trump administration. Pyongyang had previously warned that Australia would not be able to avoid a disaster if it followed US policies towards Kim Jong-un's regime.